kindly like comment share and subscribe to support the channel essay on flood introduction paragraph 1 causes of flood paragraph 2 effects of flood paragraph 3 flood control and management conclusion introduction floods are widespread natural phenomena that can affect millions of people worldwide Several regions across the globe are prone to frequent floods. Floods are known to have caused mass destruction in several areas in the past. As our planet experiences the impact of climate change and human activities continue to alter landscapes understanding the main causes and effects of flood become increasingly crucial causes of flood Flood is a natural phenomenon but it can also be caused by certain man-made activities Some causes of floods are discussed in the following Heavy rainfall occurrence of torrential and continuous Rainfall may cause floods in some areas. Overflowing water bodies. The excessive accumulation of water in water bodies may cause the water to cross the banks and overflow causing floods. Deforestation Floods may be caused due to ecological destruction because of man-made activities such as deforestation. Water absorption by the soil. The soil usually soaks up the rainwater, but when the soil can't soak up any more, it sends extra water into a river as the river water rises it can flood the nearby areas drainage floods are also an outcome of poor drainage systems in modern urban areas where there is a high density of population if the drains get blocked or stuck with dry leaves and debris global warming with global warming and the consequent climate change and seasonal rains and floods are being witnessed at different places effects of flood environmental impact of flooding the environment can get severely devastated from a flood as it is mainly filthy water that carries germs loss of life and property flood can cause severe damage to buildings 
factories, public places, etc. Polluted water Well water can also get polluted by flooding and contribute to illness. Floods spread contamination. Infectious waterborne diseases can spread by stagnant flood waters. Power cuts. Certain areas face power cuts due to the danger of electrocution. Economic loss. Floods can damage houses and other assets that took years to earn or build. Moreover, the government also has to spend money to conduct the evacuation and rescue operations. Flood Control and Management Weather Forecasting With better weather forecasting systems, it is possible to predict the occurrence of a flood and warn people about it. Flood Warning Systems Better flood warning systems should be set up so that people are warned about the upcoming problems right on time. Introduce Water Storage System The government must invest in building water storage systems to store and reuse the rainwater instead of letting it overflow on the plains and cause floods. Proper Drainage System it is essential to build good drainage systems to avoid water logging that results in flood. Evacuation Before and after a flood, there is need to manage the disaster by evacuating the people and providing them relief. Constructing buildings above the flood level. Buildings in the flood prone areas must be constructed above the flood level so as to avoid damage to the property and people. Conclusion Floods are among the most devastating natural disasters that occur worldwide, affecting millions of people and causing significant damage to both human settlements and the environment. Proper awareness must be spread about the steps to be taken during floods. The authorities must take necessary actions through which the impact of floods can be mitigated and safer and more resilient communities can be built for the future.